In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to calculate the adjusted principal after partial payment. To find the adjusted principal and adjusted balance due at maturity for a partial payment made before the maturity date, the following six steps need to be followed. And we'll be following these steps in two questions that I've prepared. The very first one is, Tony borrows $5,000 on a 10% 90-day note. On the 30th day, Tony pays $1,500 on the note. If ordinary interest is applied, what is Tony's adjusted principal after the partial payment and adjusted balance due at maturity? I've underlined the word ordinary interest because it's significant. It's when we assume 360 days per year as opposed to 365. And on that assumption, every month has 30 days. So let's begin with step number one. Step number one tells us to determine the exact time from the date of the loan to the first partial payment. That's easy, we're told that he paid 30 days after taking the loan. So I'll write down 30. Determine the interest using the time found in step one. So the interest will be, we'll use the formula I is equal to 5,000 times 0 0.10. I've divided 10% by 100% to get the decimal version. Multiply to 30 over 360. Notice I'm using 360 even though in a year there are 365 days. Using our calculator, 5,000 times 0 0.10 times 30 over 360. The interest happens to be 41.66, repeating, or 41.67. In step number three, subtract the amount of interest found in step two from the partial payment. All right, so the partial payment, according to this, was 1,500, and we'll subtract by 41.67. Using our calculator, 1,500 minus the answer will be 1,458.33, 1,458 decimal three, three dollars. Step number four, subtract the remainder of the partial payment from the original principal. This will be your adjusted principal. So I'll take this number and subtract it from the original principal amount. I'll start writing up here because I'm running out of room. 5,000 minus that number that's highlighted, 1458.33. This will serve as our adjusted principal, 5,000 minus the previous output, and it happens to be 3541.66, 3541.67. This bar, in case you're curious, means that six is repeating. So if we're rounding to two decimal places to signify the number of cents, it's six, six following another six, which pushes this number up to seven. Anyway, step number five, repeat the process for additional partial payments. We don't have to do that here. We only had one partial payment, so at maturity, we can calculate the interest from the last partial payment and add to the adjusted principal. That means that I'll do this calculation all over again, but with this number. Let me show you my work underneath. I is equal to 3541.67 times 10% as a decimal, and there were 60 days left, so I have 60 over ordinary interest means 360. Whatever I get here, I will add it to 3541. 3541.67 times 0 0.10 times 60 over 360. That gives us 59.03, rounding this two up. And I'll add that to 5341.67. This gives us 3,600 and 70 cents, 3,600 and 70 cents. That is what we'll be owing at the very end. We call this the adjusted balance. If you'd like to see the answer to question number two, leave us a comment below, letting us know that you want the solution uploaded and we'll gladly upload it onto our channel. We'll see you soon.